Hey guys, um, I'm just gonna take a look at this Astrolux EA01S. Um, it comes with the, for me anyway, for the Madaminco branding on it, because Madaminco are actually the manufacturers for many of the Astrolux models. Um, Astrolux is just Banggood's store brand. Um, so yeah, I'm a dealer. I'm, I've got a flashlight business in New Zealand, um, and so I'm a dealer for this brand. So that's how I was able to get my hands on this model before a lot of you guys. Um, so yeah, I got the both versions. Uh, I got the FTO2S in both SST40 and XHP50.2. Uh, I got the EA01S um, in both versions as well, just so I could give a good comparison a good look um, at the beam profiles uh, because the FTO2S had a lot of rings in the beam and so I just wanted to show a good side-by-side -side comparison of everything. Um, the uh, I got everything in cool white which is the 6500K version um, it's just to give us a, a much better look um, at the output how they perform because warm white is always going to be less lumens um, as, than the cool white so I thought I'd get everything the same and the XHP 50.2 was you know out of stock for the warm whites so yeah I'd get everything the same or a lot better comparison so I'll take this out I've got the manual here uh, this is using the Anduril UI on it. Uh, so yeah, you've got smooth ramping, stepped ramping, you've got a whole bunch of strobes, um, the lightning storm, um, candle mode, etc. I'm not going to go through all the modes. Um, there's a lot of other videos out there that do that. Uh, I'm just going to do, you know, beam shots, runtime tests, um, you know, a couple other tests as well. Uh, some things other, other reviewers aren't doing. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the short battery tube for a twenty uh, a twenty three fifty battery tube twenty six three fifty battery tube. Um, unfortunately, I can't get this battery in New Zealand, but um, you know it's there for if you need it. Uh, yeah, so it comes with the lanyard, two O rings. The lanyard is tiny, so. A lot of the Madaminco, you know, lights, Astrolux lights, that's what they come with. Um, I've never used one, so it's not going to concern me at all. Um, here's the 26350 battery tube installed on my other unit. Um, so look at that, that's just so tiny in your hand. Uh, really, you know, a lot of power, good little pocket light on this little mini tube. Get the slide out, put this box away. So yeah, look at the the build quality on this, and it's just really nice design. Um, I have noticed that the lanyard attachment here is got a bit of a sharp edge to it. Uh, not too bad. Not as bad as uh, like the Sofin units that I've got. They're quite very very sharp. Um, you know, so, you know, very good knurling, you're not going to slip off this one, it's very, very good bit of knurling as well around the ring, but at the base of the head here, um, got a silver ring around the switch, um, and a, a good texture to it as well, so yeah, it's nicely risen, so you're not going to be trying to search, search around for it in, um, at night in the dark, um, yeah, so we've got a bit of uh, fins on the head for a bit of cooling. Um, seems to do the job. I always like to see something maybe a bit um, deeper fins on it, but um, can't do much, I guess, for the size of light. Um, so yeah, we've got the stainless steel bezel, uh, and that just adds to the look. It just looks fantastic. Um, so you've got um, four Cree XHP 50.2 LEDs in here. Um, the one thing I have noticed, I took it apart, um, 
and found that the grooves in the reflector are quite um, are a bit larger than the centering gaskets for the LEDs and so they're not um, not entirely centered for the LEDs but um, I haven't I haven't noticed a problem in the beam so yeah I'll just take this tail cap off you will notice that the threads uh, the anodizing on the threads are a little bit worn and that's because I've used it for the last few days running all my tests I've just been opening in and, in and out in and out for the battery um, it's causing a bit of wear so yeah it came with plenty of um, lubricant on the threads I added a bit more uh, one thing I will mention is this o-ring a few times has caught on the tail cap and moved up the threads taking it off um, maybe it didn't have enough lubricant on it I can't really remember now um, so yeah there's the 18650 adapter here uh, these flashlights have a lot of power um, so I don't see the point of having a 18650 battery but it is uh, nice to have it um, just because you know obviously an 18650 battery is uh, you know, you get a high drain one, it's just high performance one, it just doesn't have the capacity to match. So I like to either a 2650 battery or a 21700 battery is best suited. So yeah, we've got the 21700 battery tube um, here as well. So yeah, we'll just take this off. So no anodizing on the front of these threads. I did notice these were quite dirty. Um, so I did clean the um, the threads here. Um, I don't think it probably would have caused uh, an issue. But when I'm doing all the testing on everything, I wanted everything to be clean and make sure that there was no issues with poor contact. So here we've got the head here. We've got the flashing pins. Um, you got the dome contact in there uh, instead of a front spring so there's the this chip over here um, is not that far down from the dome here the dome contact so just be careful with some batteries where the positive contact is up inside there a bit that it's not actually pressing down on that chip um, that would not that would not be the best. Uh, so what I've done, even for all my tests, is that I've actually I'm actually using this is the Molly Cell P42A. So it's almost as good as a 30 30T Samsung 30T. Uh, it's just a bit more capacity, and it also has a resin contact. Uh, the positive is uh, slightly higher than the outer ring. Um, uh, it's just my preference. It's a very good battery though. Uh, the Samsung 30T, you know, it only has 3,000 milliamp hours of capacity. I just don't feel like that's enough. And so, this is my choice. What I've used for all my um, lumen measurements um, and runtime tests. So, the lumens will be a little bit less uh, than what they could be with the 30T. But, you know, if you have higher lumens, of course your turbo runtime is going to be much much less uh, so that yeah that's what I've used um, yeah so I'll move on to the beam shots and uh, other tests are towards the end thanks guys yeah one thing I missed was just to show the USB-C port over here so one thing I see a lot of people do is just pull this straight up and you're just going to wear this cover. So what I like to do is just twist it to the side and that's just going to prolong its life. Uh, I'm not going to have them ripping off. So yeah, USB-C charging, um, which is very nice to have for convenience. Yeah, good, uh, good seal around the cover as well. Um, it's not loose at all.
Thank you.